Google Cats. My name is Professor Liz, and I'm back with some more STEM project for you teens with my friend Sonia. She's gonna show us what we're gonna do it today. Sonia. Hello, everybody. So today we're gonna be some, doing something called a balloon race. So the items that you need for today are some balloons. Uh, these are the balloons that we were able to find uh, here, but any kind of balloon will work. You're gonna need one straw and some twine. Uh, yarn, anything that's gonna, even fish wire might work, anything that you can find around the house. So, uh, we need tape and some scissors just in case you need to cut your twine. Ours is already pre-cut so we don't need them here. So, we're gonna start to set this up. So, Professor, I need you to hold on to one end and we're gonna give you a piece of tape to tape with you. Now I'm gonna get a piece of tape for my end as well. Before we go, we are going to cut uh, some of our straw. So we don't want it too long. You can be the judgment on how long you want your piece of straw to be, but we're gonna need to thread the uh, twine into the straw once we get to the, the front of the chairs. So you don't have to take these down the chairs. They can go from table to table, uh, counter to counter, but you're gonna want to tape it down from one end to another, and you need some free space in between. You're gonna want your twine to be real tight and not loose. So before I put my piece of tape down like I did, we're gonna to need to thread through our uh, straw. Okay, there it is. Remember, nice and tight. All right. So this lane will be Professor Liz's, and this one will be mine. So I'm gonna give us a blue to Professor, which color would you like? The red one, all right. So now we're going to blow them up. Now once you blow your, your balloon, you're gonna need a piece of tape. So we have one here for the Professor. Here's one for me. We're gonna blow up our balloons. We're gonna attach them to the bottom half of the straw and tape it down. That's perfect. You're going to need to pinch the end of the balloon so the air doesn't come out. And then just tape it, tape it down. Just like that. So on the count of three, we're going to have a race. Now we did it two different ways, which is completely fine. So it's your imagination on how you're gonna do it. If you think it's gonna go faster with the air coming out the back, or if you think it's gonna come out faster when out the front, depends. So the professor decided to switch it around. That's all her. Trial and error is gonna be best. So you can have a prize for whoever wins, um, and you can try it all kinds of different ways. If you wanna use more air, less air, it's up to you. So we're gonna do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, oh, Professor BB. I won! That was fun. It was, wasn't it? So again, you can use counters in your house, you can use chairs, um, you can take this activity outside and you can make it longer. The more air that you use, the less air that you use, it's also engineering. So there's all kinds of STEM involved in this. So I hope you guys have a great time. I'll see you next week!